Hey guys, Mr. Flanders back at it with you for day four of science. And today, instead of talking about animals only, we're going to talk about plants too. Now, did you know there are some plants out in the world that actually have spines or needles that keep animals from eating them? This plant even right here, if it was watered better, would have kind of sharp edges. They would really want the animals to go, mm, I don't know if I want to eat that. Now, just like these plants, there are animals out there that have these spines and needles as well that are really sharp and really hurt when you get poked by them. And that's to keep other animals from trying to eat them too. So join me in just a second as we take a look at animals and plants that have spines, needles, and other pokey objects that protect them from being eaten. See you in a second. All right, guys and gals, let's go ahead and dive into our lesson right now. Uh, before we really begin, though, let's go ahead and make sure we're putting our names at the top of our papers. Whoa, what is going on with the camera? All right, better. Uh, so yeah, our names are going at the top of the, uh, the worksheet, and then we'll be writing the date, which is 9-3-20. The 9 is for September. The 3 is for the day, which is Thursday. And the 20 is for the year, which is 2020. Go ahead and take a second and get that done. All right, so we were just talking about plants and animals that might have, you know, sharp points on them or pokies, if you want to call them that. Uh, and, you know, they, they, they use those as defense mechanisms. They, they keep themselves from being hurt. They keep themselves from being eaten and things like that. But let's go ahead and read a little bit more about sharp points. All right, here we go. Some plants have sharp parts. Sharp parts help protect the plant. Some animals have sharp parts too. These help protect the animal. You'll notice we've got a cactus here. I mean, that, that is the best plant that I can think of that has sharp points on them. Um, you know, just because it, it, it's, it, you know, they're all over the place. Welcome to Arizona. Have a nice day. And then we've got um, the, uh, the porcupine here, who is nothing but sharp points, and he can actually stick, you know, one of these points into, uh, you know, a person or an animal's, uh, you know, hand or, or tail or paw or something like that if he gets too angry. Because um, these little needles, that's what they call them, these needles can actually um, jab themselves into to your skin or your fur if you're an animal, and they just, they just stick there, and it feels incredibly painful. Same with these little guys right here. These little guys are called thorns, and you'll find these usually on roses. And these are to protect the roses from getting picked or, or eaten or things like that. And then this guy right here, I think this is a little hedgehog guy. Uh, not quite like Sonic the Hedgehog, but, you know, he is a hedgehog nonetheless. And he's got these little, these little sharp parts too, kind of like the porcupine. Not as sharp, not as painful, but they still hurt pretty bad. So you got to be careful handling the hedgehog. Okay? And let's go ahead and look at question number one. Think about the way some plants and animals protect themselves. How could you build a fence that would protect an area the same way? You could give the fence sharp parts. You could give the fence soft parts. Or you could give the fence sticky parts. So A is sharp parts, B is soft parts, or C is sticky parts. Hmm. Let's, let's take a look at our animals real quick, though, and our plants. Do they have any soft parts on them, do you think? I mean, our little hedgehog here, his face might be a little soft, but, I mean, overall, he looks pretty sharp to me. Uh, and what about our porcupine here? I mean... These needles could stick into you, but I wouldn't really call them sticky. They look really sharp. Same with these thorns, and same with the needles you'd find on a cactus. I don't think any are soft or sticky. I think they're all going to be sharp. Sharp. So we're going to go ahead and circle A. We can give the fence sharp parts. If we're going to build a fence, and we want to keep things out, and we want to keep things protected, we would give the fence sharp parts. Parts. Okay. 
Okay. Number two. You see a rose. It has many thorns. Ooh, these are thorns. Why can this be a problem? So let's say we're walking home, guys, and we see uh, a lovely rose bush, and we want to pick a rose for our mom or for our grandma or for our sister, uh, but we see thorns on the rose. How is that a problem? Can we go pick it safely without getting hurt? Hmm. Probably not. We'd probably get hurt if we tried to pick a rose that has thorns like this. So you see a rose that has many thorns. Why can this be a problem? Because it can poke us if we try to pick it. We're going to write that. Okay. The thorns could poke us if we, we're just going to say touch it. So the thorns could poke us if we touch, we'll say the rose, touch the rose. Okay, go ahead and take a second and finish that up. If you need to pause the video uh, so you can see, copy the sentence down, that is absolutely fine. So you see a rose. It has many thorns. Why can this be a problem? The thorns could poke us if we touch the rose. Absolutely 100% true. Take a few more seconds. Go ahead and finish copying that down. All right. And what I would like you guys to do now, uh, before we finish up, is you've got this nice little spot here on the paper. I would like you to draw a plant or animal that you can think of that has sharp parts that it would use to protect itself. Okay, you could draw, you know, a hedgehog or a porcupine if you need to. You could draw a thorny rose, you could draw a cactus, you could draw the pokey plant that I was showing you guys a little bit ago that needed to be watered. Uh, it's entirely up to you. Okay? Uh, you could even draw like a snake with sharp teeth, something like that. But go ahead and use this space right here. You don't have to draw a big picture. I just want to see what you think has sharp parts. But while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and get going. All right. Remember, the reason why animals and plants generally have sharp parts is because they're trying to protect themselves. They don't want to be eaten. They don't want to be attacked. And so that is their first major line of defense. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get going, though. I'm going to go get ready for our next lesson. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out. Otherwise, I'll see you in a bit. Bye, guys.